If you haven't seen it yet, you should search it out on Facebook. Democratic Congressman Beto O'Rourke from El Paso and Republican Congressman Will Hurd from South Texas drove to D.C. last week and shared the entire trip on Facebook Live. Glued to his laptop during the entire live stream was Ross Ramsey, co-founder and executive editor of the Texas Tribune. Good morning to you, Ross. That's not what I was watching, but I was glued to my laptop. <laughs> you know, these guys said they couldn't get flights back to the East Coast because of the blizzard, and we ended up learning all kinds of things about these two guys. I didn't realize Heard was a former undercover agent for the CIA, and clearly both men have good taste in, in music. But politically, this was probably a pretty good move, wasn't it? Yeah, this turned out to be very, very smart. I think a lot of people are going to copy this thing. They, you've got a Democrat and a Republican actually talking to each other in a time when that's not the norm. And they look like they're different from the rest of the people in Congress, which is good for both of them. And O'Rourke is, is considering a run against Ted Cruz on the Democratic side. Will Hurd always, or not always, last uh, election had a uh, tight re-election, didn't he? Right, he's in a swing district, and it doesn't pay for somebody in a swing district to look like a very liberal Democrat or a very conservative Republican. You have to be able to work across the lines. O'Rourke, as you say, is trying to build statewide name ID. I think both of them gain here. The House, uh, switching topics now, the House passed a uh, ban on texting while driving. A Senate committee passed something similar. What's the likelihood of this becoming law in Texas this session? Well, you know, there's a crack here this time. Uh, both houses have passed this before. It got all the way to Rick Perry's desk when he was governor. He vetoed it. He said people have individual rights that this would get in the way of. Uh, some people are coming around. Dan Patrick, the lieutenant governor, said the other day that he's changed his mind on this. He used to be a no vote. He said, if I was voting now, I'd probably be a yes. And speaking of Rick Perry, the now uh, secretary of energy, he's getting sued by his home state over nuclear waste. What's this about? You know, there's a Yucca Mountain Reservoir that's supposed to be the repository for nuclear waste in America. The licensing has been tangled up for years, and so there's not a place that's licensed. Texas is one of the places where this kind of material that would be, you know, disposed of there mm. uh, is stacking up, and they want the feds to step in. It is an ironic lawsuit indeed. Back to you in just a moment, Ross. Thanks.